Do you have a father in your life who's hard to shop for? Stick around. Greetings Lux lovers, welcome or welcome back. Here I like to provide you with thoughtful luxury curations from time to time, and if that sounds good to you, I'd love for you to subscribe and stay a while. Father's Day is just around the corner and I've pulled together a list of useful luxury or luxury related items that I've either purchased for my husband or I'm thinking of purchasing for him in the future. Now, unlike me, my husband doesn't give a hoot about luxury and he pretty much buys what he needs. So it was a bit of a challenge to think about Father's Day gifts he would enjoy and that goes for birthday gifts, anniversary gifts, etc. And frankly, you don't even need to be a father to enjoy these gifts. For the most part, I think they can be pretty unisex. And there's just a tiny bit of overlap with my Mother's Day curation as well. It's also worth noting that this isn't a list of big ticket items such as Rolex watches and the like. I say these items are luxury related because while they themselves might not necessarily be designer, I think they fit well for a guy who has it all kind of lifestyle. And some things are things I don't even see anyone talking about on YouTube. So sit back and enjoy these ideas and I'd love to know if any of these resonate with you. And you know it wouldn't be a Beauty Lux Lover video if we didn't start out with a little something from Hermes. This is a very typical, stereotypical uh, present that you can buy for a dad or a hubby. And this is one of their classic silk ties. And here, I'll show you up close. I went for the one from afar, it just kind of looks geometric, but if you look up close, you'll see that it is a pattern of bees in this beautiful gray and blue colorway. And as you get further away, it just kind of blends in. But as you know, I've mentioned on the channel, bees are um, significant to us because it reminds us of the spirit animal of our daughter. So I think you can't go wrong with a nice silk tie from Hermes. And it of course helps you along with your journey. And relatedly, along with a silk tie, I would suggest a tie travel holder. And I've seen versions that are either cylindrical and, and rolled or folded up where the tie kind of is in a binder. You fold it and then you zip it up. So I'll put some pictures here, but these are things I haven't yet purchased, but I will put links in the description box around the ones that I'm specifically looking at. The next item is a coach crossbody bag. I'll put up pictures here of the ones that I actually did purchase for my husband years ago. I no longer know the model name, but this one he has actually really used. And like I said, he's not really a luxury lover and doesn't really care about brands, but he does actually wear this one to work. It's been pretty helpful. And you'll see that it has one real nasty scratch across the leather in the front, but you know, he doesn't really care. We've never tried to buff it out, but this certainly has been very useful to him. The next item is a leather valet tray. And it's the kind that clips in the corners so that it goes from a flat piece of leather into a nice rectangular or square tray for little trinkets or items to get ready for your day. The one he has in particular isn't really from a brand. It is personalized but I'm going to put pictures here as well of ones I've seen from Hermes that look really attractive. And I would even go for one of these myself. The next great item comes from Toomey. And this is one of the brands I don't see a lot of people talking about on YouTube, specifically luxury YouTube, but this is a brand that is a workhorse for me. And so I bought him a little something from Toomey for Father's Day and it's the Toomey Valet keychain with the button release. And I'll put some B-roll of me kind of opening it up here to show you how it works. But basically it has two key rings on each side and you press a button to quickly release one of the keychains. And it's called a valet keychain because the idea is that when you park your car with a valet, you can quickly unlock the keys to the car, but keep the keys to your house and the keys to, you know, whatever. Um, maybe your wallet is attached to it with you so that it can easily come apart. 
We actually found that we needed this, not so much for valet purposes, although it does come in handy for that, but sometimes if he goes into a store and I wanna stay in the car with the kids, but I need the key, he'll just quickly press that button, unattach the two pieces and go on his way. The next category is for furniture and I will insert some shots here, but I bought him a Brooklyn Nets court side chair. Now this is a really cool item for any sports fan in your life, but it's the same manufacturers of the chairs that they use on the court side seats of say NBA games. So it's like having a really luxe experience at home and these, these seats are extremely heavy and very cushy, which is nice because if you sit on them, they are comfortable and very um, substantial. So you can tell that they're made of really high quality materials and it kind of brings that courtside experience to your home. But I can attest that he, he uses this every day that he works from home at his uh, home office desk. The next piece of suggested furniture is a valet stand. And this is actually something really neat and it's like a standalone piece of furniture. I'll add some pictures here. We actually had one at one point, but then when we moved, it got broken in the move. So we haven't replaced it yet, but basically it's a place where anyone, but say a father can have like a built in coat hanger and he can put his suit jacket or whatever shirt he wants to wear the next day onto that valet stand and also have a little tray again for those trinkets. And if you want, you could even put the leather trinket tray on top of that, but it's just a nice standalone classy piece that you can have to prepare yourself for the next day. And if you're really even interested in upgrading this, again, because this doesn't have to be very expensive, a lot of different brands carry these valet stands, but I did see one on Hermes.com, of course, and their version is $61,000, but it's like the full, um, full length, valet experience to put a lot of different items and clothing, not just one coat hanger's worth of a jacket hanger. And for the category of jewelry now, uh, I do suggest maybe getting a Father's Day gift or any kind of gift um, of a gold chain. So here is an example of a gold chain that I purchased for my husband, and I believe this is called the Figaro Link but it's just really a simple but hearty, substantial chain that he can wear um, either during the day or on the weekends. And actually, because I'm also a gold lover, I, I might borrow this as well, but don't tell him. Next in kind of the jewelry watch category, I would suggest this. And this is a citizen watch, but it is a collab with Marvel. This allows him to express his fandom quietly so I'll take this off of the uh, watch holder and you can see that it's pretty sporty and here's the, the Citizen logo. It has uh, a place where you can press two buttons and release the bracelet. And my hubby is a big Marvel fan, specifically Spider-Man. So you can maybe see that there's an engraving and etching of a spider in the back, but these colors are to express the Spider-Man collab specifically, the good old blue and red coloring. And if you haven't seen the new Spider-Verse movie yet, I highly recommend it. It is extremely well done, very well written, very deep, I would say. And as a Spider-Man fan, uh, he really enjoyed it and I did as well. So again, just a small piece that allows him to be able to express his love for Spider-Man, but not be too flashy about it. If the father in your life also really enjoys watches, I would recommend a Wolf watch winder. And it could be from any brand. I just know that Wolf has a really nice line of products and my personal jewelry box is from the Wolf brand. So I started looking at what they had online for their watch winders. This is if you get an automatic watch that requires movement to really power the watch. And if you don't wanna keep resetting the date, you can just put it in this box and it will move around to keep that energy going. But of course, if you have a quartz watch, which is powered on battery, you won't need this. But I've put some examples here of ones that caught my eye and my husband doesn't actually have any automatic watches, nor do I at this point. But if we did, I would take a 
really hard look at these ones. The next item is from M. Lahart, and it is some engraved cufflinks. So here is, and these are actually pretty good for any graduates in your life, but M. Lahart is, is kind of specializes in college memorabilia. And on the back, you can see that we have some engravings of dates. These are back from 2020. And you can't go wrong with cufflinks for Father's Day either, Father's Day or graduation. But they're really classy. I don't think it's made of real gold. Um, they might be, I don't even think it's real gold plated, but they do look really nice. And I like the fact that you could customize them. And they come in this really nice pouch. Going on to the beauty category, I really have to come back to this Lalabo shower gel. And this I had in my Mother's Day one because I love this as well. And this is the basil and sesame scent. And you can see since my Mother's Day video, I'm, I'm slowly churning away at this bottle. But if you have a Lalabo store in your area, I would suggest that you go and, and take a look to try out the different scents that you like because it kind of has like a gentleman's barbershop type of vibe. I know it's very popular in like Williamsburg, Brooklyn, for example, and I believe they're in Flatiron and Soho. And it's just kind of like a cool dude's place. Every time I'm in there, there's just a lot of guys. So I think the scents are very appropriate for, for men, but they are unisex because I love this as well. The other brand I would recommend um, to look at would be by Killian. I have a scent too, but they, I'll put some pictures here as well. They kind of specialize in the story around Killian Hennessy as the son of, you know, the Hennessy uh, brand having this line of fragrances that are very inspired by alcohol. The packaging is really cool, very masculine, and they look like little um, alcohol bottles of say whiskey or vodka. So those could be really fun as well. In terms of electronics, I would actually recommend maybe some noise canceling headphones. I know that the recent craze about the HBO show Succession shows a very popular character wearing a nondescript set of headphones, but they're like super expensive. But the brand I believe is Bayer Dynamic. Also Bose, you really can't go wrong with that top of the line, good quality noise canceling headphones. This is something that my husband actually bought for himself recently. So that's why I'm putting it on this list because I know he really enjoys it uh, to be able to just put his headphones on and either do work or do his hobbies. And I've brought you back down to my kitchen to be able to talk about some food and beverage related items as present ideas. And the first is this Corksicle Marvel Jug. So this is actually a really neat present, um, again, for the guy who has it all but has a fandom. They have some really neat Marvel themed items. So this is a 64 ounce jug and it has a handle and just a screw top. So you unscrew it and it, it just goes to a hole so there's no straw component. But this is like if you go camping or if you go hiking or do some sports and you just wanna put something in here, insulate it and then pour it out into smaller cups maybe. It's, it's a very nice matte kind of outer feel the only weird part is that as part of the wrap, you can see it like break right here. But other than that, I think it's a really cool idea. I also purchased this smaller container and this is actually more of your traditional straw, uh, sippy water canteen, also from Corksicle from the same Marvel line. But this one is for Black Panther. So again, just a very kind of nondescript but festive and fun water bottle that will really last you a long time. And it has a nice metal handle, really good quality and very functional. My last recommendation related to food and dining is a hex clad grill pan. Now this isn't out in the market yet, but I think it's coming quite soon. 
But what got me excited, I'll put some pictures, I'll put a picture here, um, but it's a pan that you could basically just put right onto the grill and be able to grill up vegetables or any kind of food while you're also doing other grilling. And I don't hear anyone talking about this on YouTube, but I'm a big fan of hex clad. And here is an example of a hex clad kind of griddle pan that I have. And what's really neat about this brand is that it has this, this uh, stainless steel slash ceramic um, pattern in it. And you can see it's kind of dirty and it does get a lot of use, but I find it's a good mix between non-stick and stainless steel. So the stainless steel will really give you a good char or a good sear. The ceramic part will make it pretty easy to clean. So again, you can see the back. But I, I really love using this one with tortillas because you'll get a nice burn. And to me, it kind of beats any other type of nonstick pan. Another category is social media driven or customizable dad gifts that you see online every time you scroll Instagram or every time you're on Facebook. These are This is the time that all of these ads are really being fed to us. So I have purchased some of these in the past and I wanted to share my experiences with you. One item is called the dad hoodie and I will hold it up for you here. Obviously this is very large, but it is a, a brand that's on Etsy and the cool thing about it is that it has these inner pockets that are supposed to be like mimicking pockets in a diaper bag. So it's almost like built for a dad, but as soon as you open up the, the sides of the, of the hoodie, it has a lot of places for wipes, diapers, bottles, and then you just zip it up. So the idea is that here's a, the hoodie but it's called a dad hoodie. I'll put the link below. Um, the idea is that it's basically like a walking diaper bag. So he's enjoying this, although it will have a limited time because once our kids don't, you know, need bottles and diapers, um, then he could just use it as a regular hoodie. Another item that I customized for him online were the Divvy Up number one dad socks. These were really fun and I took a picture of the face of my son and the picture of a face of my daughter and the company puts it on these socks with number one dad, and he's actually worn it a good amount. They do wear after a while, so I would say, you know, they're not gonna be your regular socks, but for special occasions, it is fun to have. Another cool thing I customized were these Wonder Prince Dad You're Awesome t-shirts. The only thing he didn't like about it is the fact that the kids' names are on there, so he felt like it was like giving a little too much information about them to the public, but he likes to wear it at home and it came out really cute. Like you can customize really well. And the, the kids do look like our kids. Another example is the Hooray Heroes customizable book. And you can customize it so that the dad looks like your dad and the, the child or multiple children looks like your children. And it's fun and I've actually customized a couple books. My only critique of this brand is that the books are a little long. I just wish they did more kind of customizable baby books because sometimes the little baby's attention spans um, aren't quite long enough to go through books with a lot of text through it. And last, there are some Shutterfly items that I've customized using just pictures from our phone. I do Shutterfly like all the time, all year round. So I've done a desk organizer, photo cubes, I do calendars. For me, it's really sentimental and easy to print. And lastly, for the fellas who only like to baby their handbags, I've created a Birkin Dad design on my spread shop, which I've linked below, for you to just show the world your love for your Birkin bag. So thank you for joining me to hear about my suggestions for Father's Day luxury related items. I'd love to hear in the comments if you have any of these or if you're going to try some of these and if the fathers in your life enjoy them or not. I'll also let you know what I ended up getting my husband on behalf of our children this year. So please subscribe to my Instagram to get the follow up and how he liked it. I hope you had fun today. I had fun sharing these too. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.